Uh, Rett syndrome is a uh, neurodevelopmental disorder. The girls appear to be normal during the first six to 18 months of life. But if you dig deeply into the history, you can find that the parents will often tell you that the girl as an infant is really too good. Uh, they're, they're quiet, they sleep, they eat, and they don't make much of a fuss. Uh, thereafter, they develop some of the early skills that children develop, but uh, sometime between nine and 20 or 30 months of age, they begin to lose those skills. So spoken language and good eye contact is lost, uh, fine motor skills in the hands, playing with toys, uh, even feeding themselves at times uh, goes downhill. And in addition, they begin to develop what are called stereotypic hand movements. Uh, the most common movement is a hand wringing movement or a hand patting movement, but they can vary a great deal. And finally, they have difficulty walking, and indeed, some of the girls uh, never learn to walk. Uh, thereafter, um, there is uh, a period when um, they have a, a expression which seems to be almost autistic in nature, but after maybe 30 months of age, that goes away. They give better eye contact and interaction, and uh, are actually better and better in that sense throughout life. However, their motor skills may change in that they go from being floppy or hypotonic to being uh, rigid, much as you would see in an individual with Parkinsonism. And so uh, they develop uh, and can develop if they're not managed properly uh, contractures at the various joints and uh, may develop a significant scoliosis which would require surgery. We have uh, in this country had a natural history study which has now been ongoing for the past uh, actually an enrollment of patients uh, 12 years. We're in the 13th year and it has uh, involved almost 2,000 individuals and what is uh, very, very positive is the increasing number of drug companies who are coming forth with products which they think would be uh, disease altering in girls with Rett syndrome.